Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and I wanted to take you a quick look at uh, this type of symptom we're seeing here, which is a witch's broom caused by a Bermuda grass mite. And Bermuda grass mites are really small, uh, so we took some of these samples back to the lab and, and um, took a look at what we were, what we could see. You might be able to see them with a hand lens if you pull the leaves back very carefully. Uh, but it's hard to really hard to see these guys because they're they're really small, uh, less than a millimeter uh, in length. Uh, so what we did is we take them back to the lab and you carefully pull the leaves apart. And I tried to mount these things on a um, more stable mount, but I just had to hold it with my fingers because they're moving around all over the place. So here you can see we're pulling back we're pulling back the leaf, and then if you look closely, you'll be able to see the small little white mites moving around. And we did that on, a, on another sample that I'm going to show in just a second. And that just gives you a rough idea of what a Bermuda grass mite looks like. And they're really tiny. And um, they can cause this witch's brooming effect. And there's associated uh, uh, paste turf updates that give you some information on how to uh, manage this particular problem. You can just mow them off a lot of times. You can see all those witch's brooms were sticking up early on. And you can just mow them off and keep the turf healthy and they can overcome this pest.